In this tutorial, I'll show you how to convert a complex number from polar form to rectangular form. The question reads, write each complex number in rectangular form using exact values if possible. Take a look at question A and B. In the past, we've referred to these as polar trigonometric form, where I've used the word trigonometric, but generally you can describe them as simply polar form. They mean the same thing. Now what's interesting about these expressions is that you can tell what the angle is just by reading this number, and I'll call that theta. This number on the outside is the radius. And that's important because we can use the two formulas underneath here to find out A and B. And if you read this, every complex number that's in rectangular form has the format Z is equal to A plus B I, where I represents the square root of negative one. So by using these formulas, we can substitute the values we get for A and B into here, and it becomes in rectangular form. Let's go ahead and figure this out. Remember, theta is seven pi over four. So using that first formula, A is equal to the radius of three times cosine of seven pi over four. And B is the same thing, except we replace cosine with sine. Now, if you're familiar with special triangles, you can find the exact ratio that represents this angle. But if you have a calculator like mine, it can do it for you. In case you're confused, here's what I mean. Three times cosine seven pi over four gives us an A value of that. So I have three times the square root of two over two. We just found our A value, and to find our B value, we'll do the same thing. Now make sure that your calculator is in radians because that angle is in radians. Otherwise, if you see a degree unit, it's in degrees, so you make sure your calculator is in degrees. Again, three times sine seven pi over four, and we get negative of the expression we wrote earlier. So negative three times the square root of two over two. Now we write these two numbers down into this so that we have it in rectangular form. Z is equal to three times the square root of two over two minus three times the square root of two over two I. Now there is a possibility that your final answer might look a little different than this. If your final answer has a square root at the bottom, that means you haven't rationalized and this is the rationalized version of your answer. They both mean the same thing mathematically. Okay, let's move on to B. This is our theta value, and that is our radius. Again, we use the same two formulas. For A, we have four times cosine of 80 degrees. And for B, four times sine of 80 degrees. And if you haven't noticed already, simply multiply this four into the expression within the parentheses and you end up with the complex number in rectangular form. Anyway, let's continue. Four times cosine, I'll convert my calculator from radians to degrees, because I need to here. 80, that gives me 0 0.6945. We can simply round to two numbers after the decimal place. So I'll write down 0 0.69, and let's do the same thing again, but with sine of 80, and we get 3.93, or 3.94. 3 decimal 9, 4, and we write this down as 0 0.69 plus 3.94i. And that, of course, is equal to z. And there you have it. That is how to convert a complex number from polar form to rectangular form.